In this figure, the triangle ABC is inscribed in the circle. The length of AE is 5 units and the length of ED is 4 units. If AB is equal to X and AC is also X, find the value of X. Note that this diagram is not drawn to scale. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to pause the video and give it a try, and tell us your answer in the comment section. To solve this problem, first let's take BC as Y and DC as Z. From secant theorem, DC times DB is equal to DE times DA. DC is equal to Z. DB is equal to Y plus Z. DE is equal to 4. And DA is equal to 4 plus 5, which is equal to 9. Substituting these values in the above equation will give us Z times Y plus Z is equal to 4 times 9. Simplifying the equation will give us yz plus z squared is equal to 36. Let's call this equation 1. Next, let's draw a perpendicular line from A to BC. Let the point of intersection be M. Now, observe that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle since AB is equal to AC. If that is the case, it follows that, BM, is equal to MC. Since we have already taken BC, to be Y, it follows that. BM, is equal to Y over 2, and MC, is equal to Y over 2. Next, let's focus on triangle AMC. Triangle AMC, is a right triangle. From Pythagoras theorem. AC squared is equal to AM squared plus MC squared. If we make AM squared the subject formula, we will have AM squared is equal to AC squared minus MC squared. Let's call this equation 2. Next, let's focus on triangle AMD. Triangle AMD is also a right triangle. From Pythagoras theorem. AD squared is equal to AM squared plus MD squared. If we make AM squared the subject formula, we will have AM squared is equal to AD squared minus MD squared. Let's call this equation 3. Now, observe that the left side of equation 2 and equation 3 are the same. So, we can say that AC squared minus MC squared is equal to AD squared minus MD squared. AC is equal to X. MC is equal to Y over 2. AD is equal to 4 plus 5, which is equal to 9. And MD is equal to Y over 2 plus Z. If we substitute these values in the above equation, we will have x squared minus y over 2 squared is equal to 9 squared minus y over 2 plus z squared. Simplifying this equation will give us x squared minus y squared over 4 is equal to 81 minus y squared over 4 plus 2yz over 2 plus z squared. 2 will cancel out 2, and we are left with x squared minus y squared over 4 is equal to 81 minus y squared over 4 minus yz minus z squared. Next, let's collect the like terms. Doing so will give us x squared is equal to 81 
minus y squared over 4 plus y squared over 4 minus yz minus c squared. Minus y squared over 4 plus y squared over 4 is equal to 0. And we are left with x squared is equal to 81 minus yz minus c squared. Minus yz minus c squared can be written as minus and in brackets yz plus c squared. And x squared will be 81 minus in bracket yz plus c squared. Observe that yz plus c squared is equal to 36 in equation 1. Going further, let's replace yz plus c squared with 36. Doing so will give us x squared is equal to 81 minus 36. 81 minus 36 is equal to 45. So, x squared is equal to 45. Taking the square root of both sides will give us 3 root 5. Hence, x is equal to 3 root 5. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.